Okay, we're now inside the temple. We're now almost on top, final ascent, and we will be able to see the stupa. I'm so excited to see this. Wow. Look at that. So we booked um, an unlimited half and off pass in Kailuk. This is what we booked. And we booked it just this morning. And now we're claiming our voucher here. Here's my assistant. <laughs> and my PA. So it shows here that this is for 200 baht. But when we booked our um, pass online, we actually had a discount. If you will book it in Kaylook, it's only for um, around 140 to 150 baht. So I would suggest that instead of getting a pass, here or booking your pass here um, in the port, you book it in Kalu. Um, I'm going to uh, put the links below in the description. Okay, we are now aboard the boat. Um, this is the only hop and off boat where it will take us to the different um, temples here um, in Bangkok. We're here at the top deck. It's so nice here, the, the, the view is so nice. You'll get the 360 degree view of the river here in Bangkok. It's so nice. Temple Wat Arun Temple or the Temple of Dun. For only 50 baht, you can enjoy the majestic and intricately designed prang of the Wat Arun. Number one thing that you must know before you visit any temple is that you have to dress appropriately. We have to um, remember that we have to respect their culture, so you have to wear um, long dresses like below the knee and there are no showing of so, uh, shoulders so um, no spaghetti strap shirt or um, short shorts no mini skirts so you have to dress appropriately just like my friends and me so i'm wearing a very long dress <laughs> so if you're up to cardio challenge what iron is for you because the the stairs up to the temple is very very steep and since I'm wearing a very long dress <laughs> I have to be very careful if you are tired of um, having photo bombers on your um, photos one tip that I can give you here in Wat Iron is that you go at the back side of the temple. It's less crowded here so you can take pictures wherever and whenever you want. Plus, it's also the same view. It has the same view actually as the front. Another unique thing about Wat Iron are the giant guardians. They are um, called so that's a Deka and <laughs> Tasaka. I have to <laughs> I have to read from the guide. <laughs> Right in front or across the Wat Iron Temple is the Wat Pho Temple. For only four baht, you can ride a ferry and it will get you to the other side of the river. Registered as a World Heritage by UNESCO, Wat Prasha Tophon, or also known as Wat Pho, is the home of the infamous reclining Buddha. You need to pay 200 baht for the ticket for you to get inside. We're gonna ride Tuk Tuk going to um, Wat Saket. Our next temple is Wat Saket. 120 baht. Here. Kapkan ka. Another Chase Sunny tips for you to save money when haggling with a tuk tuk driver. It would be best or I highly suggest for you to first search the destination on your Grab app and it will give you an estimated amount of the fare and then after that 
you have to tell the tutup driver that price and then if they will still insist of their high price here's the very important tip and it worked for me like a lot you have to pretend that you will walk away and will just choose the grab and then after like four to five steps expect that that tuk-tuk driver will finally give in to your price we are now here at Wat Saket or the Golden Mountain you need to pay 50 baht for you to get inside let's go if you are a nature lover what socket is just right for you but you have to prepare because there are 318 steps for you to get to the top of the golden mountain on the way to the top of the golden mountain you will see a lot of bells i think these bells are used by the monks during one of their rituals and then there is this giant gong let's try it <laughs> And I made it to the top. Those 318 steps are all worth it. Look at that stupa. The infamous stupa of the Golden Mountain or Wat Saka Temple. From Watsaket, another tuk-tuk going here at um, Ta Maharaj for 120 baht as well. The boat ride is very, very relaxing, guys. Oh my god. It's like I don't want to get off anymore. I just want to stay here. And to end our tour, here we are at Asia Tik where you can find a lot of restaurants for dinner. And you can also see here a lot of shopping center for souvenir. Here at Asia Tik, you can ride the iconic Asia Tik Sky for 450 baht. So you can go inside the mystery mansion for only 200 baht. Before I was so scared of getting eaten by a crocodile but look now we are eating them and that ends my Bangkok temple tour thank you so much guys for watching I'm gonna be posting the links and my itinerary down in the description you can follow it or you can create and mix match your own I hope you had so much fun as much as I did today don't forget to click like subscribe and hit that bell icon okay thank you so much for watching this has been Chase Sanity <laughs>